It's another blow for Chicago's business community. Illinois' richest man, Ken Griffin, announces plans to relocate his head fund headquarters to Miami. Today's announcement follows Griffin's complaints about surging crimes in the city. WGN's Julian Cruz joins us live from Citadel's Dearborn offices. Julian. Well, Mike and Ray, you may remember back in the spring during a Wall Street Journal interview, Ken Griffin complaining about Chicago's crime rate and hinting that he may be ready to move Citadel out of Illinois. Citadel, the third major company in the last few weeks following Boeing and Caterpillar to announce that they are leaving the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. And I'm proud that they will be working together. Citadel CEO Ken Griffin in a written message breaking the news to Chicago employees at the company's 131 South Dearborn offices. I am excited to have recently moved to Miami, the message reads, with my family and look forward to rapidly expanding Citadel in a city so rich in diversity and abounding with energy. The announcement, not a surprise to many, relocates two company divisions, Citadel and Citadel Securities, to Florida with hundreds of jobs, creating a new global headquarters in Miami while maintaining a smaller office in Chicago, spokespeople say. Sterling Bay, in the process of developing the sprawling Lincoln Yards development in Chicago, now partnering with Citadel in Miami, according to a press release, to build a tower on Brickell Bay. What's interesting about this one is the odd mix of politics and finance in one story. Greg Hines with Chicago Cranes Business says they're like cats and dogs. Governor J.B. Pritzker, a Democrat, with Griffin, the Republican, publicly clashing over crime and corporate taxes through the years. Griffin reportedly putting up $50 million to support potential Pritzker opponent, the GOP's Richard Irvin, in the upcoming primaries. But rivalries and politics aside, Side, Heinz says concerns over crime in Chicago are very real. The reasons that Citadel gave for the departure are consistent with what we cranes are hearing from other people uh, in the in the uh, in the business space, and that is that uh, Chicago is still untamed crime problem. In a written statement, the governor's spokespeople saying, quote, countless companies are choosing Illinois as their home as we continue to lead the nation in corporate relocations and had a record number of business startups in the past year. The mayor's office expressing disappointment over Citadel's announcement, saying, quote, we know Citadel will maintain a significant presence in Chicago and their story would not have been possible without the great strengths of our city. There's no minimizing the loss of tax revenues, experts say. Then there's the philanthropy. Griffin and his Citadel company are among the most generous philanthropists in the country and here in Illinois and the city of Chicago. Griffin himself said to have contributed more than $600 million to charitable causes. In the Loop, Julian Cruz, WGN News.